In this video, I will show you different ways to automate Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I will be using Terraform, some Linux scripting, OCI CLI, and shortcuts on my iPhone. In front of you, you see three different interfaces. One on the right is my iPhone, one in the middle is the OCI console, and behind in the green screen is my Linux terminal. What I want to do first is create a block volume using Terraform. I took one of the templates and modified it with sizing and the names that I wanted to use for the block volume. Let's quickly take a look at that script. As you can see in this Terraform script that I am creating a block volume which will be called SAM TF Volume 1. And below, I'm creating a silver backup policy for this block volume. So let's go ahead and run this. So the first step is to run Terraform in it. Then Terraform plan. The plan will show how many objects it will create change or destroy. As you can see it right there, it's going to create two objects for us, nothing to change, nothing to destroy. And the last step is now to run Terraform apply. This will basically create the block volume for us. Um, it's basically asking, uh, do you want to go ahead and do this? I'm going to type in yes. But before I do that, let's go to the block volume on our cloud console. So we can actually see that being created live. So here's my block storage. I'm gonna to go to block volumes. There are no um, active block volumes right now. So let's go ahead and type in yes here. So it will go ahead and create the block volume for us. Now it's creating the block volume. And as you can see it on the console, it's creating a block volume called SAMTF Volume 1. It's available now and it's about 50 GB and it's pretty much done. But what if I want to change the size of this block volume from 50 GB to 100 GB? But this time I don't want to go through the Terraform interaction. I don't want to type in yes. Um, I want to use voice command to change the size from 50 GB to 100 GB. And that's the automation we are talking about in the pyramid. So let's take a look at that. I already have a few shortcuts created. I'm gonna use the one over here, which is called uh, update volume. If I look, if I look at the uh, shortcut itself, it's not doing any magic. It's basically asking a question, what's the size of the volume? And then it's basically running the same Terraform script behind the scene. And it's using the SSH to make sure we are doing that securely. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey Siri, update volume. What size of volume in gigabytes would you like me to create? 100. One moment. As you can see, it's changing the size of the volume from 50 to 100 GB uh, just by having a Siri voice command and it's pretty much done. So this was a pretty straightforward uh, example, right? That we can create a storage volume, block volume using Terraform script, either through a terminal or through Siri. What I want to do now is a little bit more complicated. I want to create a Kubernetes cluster. So I already have a Terraform script. I'm going to use the same technique to call that script and create my Kubernetes cluster using iPhone Siri. Before we go ahead and do that, let's take a quick look at that Kubernetes script, the Terraform script. So 
So as you can see in the script, it's creating a lot of different volumes. It's creating my internet gateway, it's creating routing table, it's creating my subnets for the cluster and the node pool, uh, as you can see it right there. A better way to see all this is maybe to just run the Terraform plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So we can see how many objects it's gonna create and what objects it's gonna create. As you can see, it's gonna create 10 different objects, including virtual cloud network, uh, node pool subnets, subnets for load balancer, routing table, internet gateway, and so forth. It's gonna basically create everything that I'm gonna need. Alternatively, you can also go to console and then select to provision the Kubernetes cluster using quick, provi quick provisioning. So that's another option. But since we are on the topic of driving automation with Siri and Terraform, I'll show you how all this thing is gonna work together. So let me get out of this one. Okay, I'm already out. Uh, what I wanna do now is go ahead and create the cluster using Siri. Hey Siri, create my cluster. What would you like to name the cluster? ABC. Again, Siri is working on it. And we should go on our console and watch it live as it happens. So I'm gonna go to developer services, containers, and see what's happening there. And there it is. It's actually creating a cluster called ABC right now. Now, if I go to virtual cloud network, it's probably already created a virtual cloud network for me as well as subnets in there. So here it is. Um, this is the virtual cloud network it created for me. And within the virtual cloud network, I have multiple subnets created. Uh, there's, there are route tables created, the internet gateway is created, and it's probably creating the uh, node pool for me right now. So which is gonna take a few minutes. What I wanna show you meanwhile is once you have the Kubernetes cluster created like this in an automated way, uh, you can do a lot of things with it. The first thing you can do is use kube control through terminal to interact with it. You can deploy your pods, you can deploy new services, you can um, do de deployments and replicas, you can define all these things and you can get started. The other thing you can do is you can use a Kubernetes dashboard as I'm showing you one right now. Um, so on a dashboard, you basically have similar capabilities at Kube Control, but you can have a graphical uh, front end. Um, to log into my dashboard, I probably need to put a token here, which I have already pre-generated. And I'm gonna sign in. And you can see your workload status, the deployments. As you can see, I have two deployments in here, Jenkins and MySQL. Um, you can look at different namespaces here. As you can see, I have multiple namespaces there. Uh, you can also check out the pods. You can, for example, select a different namespace. I'm gonna select monitoring this time. And within the monitoring, namespace as you can see what pods am I running so these are all the pods I'm running this is the Grafana and Prometheus that I'm running for monitoring which I will show you in a minute but you can also see there are logs you can directly see from here so I can just click on the log here and see what it's doing
So it's a very nice and easy to use an interface if you're not comfortable with the uh, command line or cube control. You can pretty much do the same things here. The other thing I want to quickly show you is the uh, Grafana. So I already have configured Grafana on one of my Kubernetes cluster. As you can see, there are three nodes in there. Uh, I can select one of these nodes. This will get updated. I can look at the workload, how busy the system is. Uh, there are lots of details underneath here. Uh, for example, there are lots of net stats you can collect here. You can look at the network traffic and so forth. So there's a lot of in information you can basically get in Grafana about your Kubernetes cluster. You can also do DevOps with Jenkins. So with the same cluster, I have created a uh, Jenkins uh, jobs here, which basically uh, creates a hello world kind of application here. So which basically helps me do DevOps with the uh, Oracle Kubernetes clusters. That's one of the ways to do it. You can use other tools and technologies um, as well. So as you can see, creating and automating um, on cloud infrastructure is quite easy and there are different levels to do that something as simple as a terraform script to provision or it could be something like a voice assistant like the one we used here today uh, iphone siri to create update change the infrastructure on your cloud so this is the way the progression is happening in the automation world it's no longer just doing the scripts However, but now it's to also work with the uh, more sophisticated tools like having a smartphone in your hands to do things for you. Thank you for watching.